Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with another Empties Regrets and Reviews. Now I'll say it once, I'll say it again, I'll say it every video. I have no idea what number I'm on. I just got 10 products, I share with you. The number will be in the title. So I am gonna jump straight in and I'm going to explain to you something. I am now noticing that my lipsticks are running out thick and fast. Like these are so old and I use them for work to get rid of them basically and they are running out. So I have two lipsticks to share with you today. The first one I have is a Rimmel London. It is in the shade Pink Lane number 126. It's gone. There was only a little bit left and I decided to use it to darken one of my real pale lipsticks and I kind of like just mix them together. I did a DIY video on just how quickly I do it and that was how I used the last little bit of this. But I thoroughly love the colour. Show the label. That's the label on it and I absolutely love this and it was perfect for work. But it's gone. It's gone out of my life. I would purchase another Rimmel London lipstick, but I have so many lipsticks behind me and they're not cheap. And now I don't need to fill my holder up. I tend to find that I go for the more expensive ones. So when one lipstick runs out, it's not like before where I had loads of gaps on it. So I'd buy the cheaper lipsticks to fill it up. Now, because it's all full, I just literally tend to buy a MAC lipstick and I'll put it in its place because they don't run out that often. Plus I've got way too many anyway and I don't need to buy any lipsticks anyway. The next next lipstick that I would love was a Maybelline. Yes, I would recommend Maybelline. I do like them. They don't last very long, but they're cheap. They're about six pounds each and I love them. I had this one in Rosewood Pearl, number 842. It looks like this if it focuses. And yeah, I destroyed that one too. <laughs> But I absolutely loved that lipstick and that was one of my favourite work lipsticks because it was so subtle, so light and sheer, but it still gave you a little bit of colour. Fantastic for work. I also have a lip gloss. This is the one I used after my last lipstick at work. It is a Sexy Mother Pucker and this is called Candy Queen and it's from Soap and Glory. I use them because I'm a firm believer and I don't like to waste makeup, but I don't like the tingling sensation it leaves on your lips. It's supposed to give you bigger, brighter, better lips. And I hate, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I tend to find I put it on top of something, like a lipstick, like the one I just got rid of, the Rosewood Pearl. I tend to put that on and then just put this on top and it doesn't really tingle as much, but I wouldn't purchase it again for that reason. If you like the tingling sensation, fantastic, because it lasts for ages as well. But personally, don't like it so that would be gone the next thing i have is another soap and glory product and this is called scrub of your life i've just dropped some it's okay it's only tissue it looks like this and it has those little tiny beads in that you can absolutely scrub yourself with and i think it had like some sugar in of some sort it was quite a thick scrub and it left your skin feeling amazing the only downside though is I think it does have the beads in and I know they're banning the beads so don't know how they're going to get around that but yes I'd love it yes I would repurchase it I've had that quite a few times. The next thing I have got that I'm getting rid of is a is a molten brown and it was a shampoo now I've never tried the shampoos before oh my god you need the smallest amount and your hair Freaking out fire, it comes out, it's so nice, like so nice. I can't get over it, it's amazing, I love it. Would recommend it 100%, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of it because I can't, but they're just fantastic and they're perfect for travel. So you can go in and buy like one of everything, like a shampoo, a shower gel, whatever you want, and they're all perfect for taking your hand luggage on a holiday or a short break or whatever. The next thing I have is a hand cream and it is a Kath Kidston hand cream, lime and mint. It was such a good one, it was so good. I tend to find I put these in my handbags. Um, it was so good, it's gone. Um, to the point that one day, for some bizarre reason, I couldn't find any moisturizer for my face and I actually used it on my face. I don't know if that's good, I don't know if that's bad, but either way, my face was dry and that sorted it out. Yes, I would recommend it. I freaking love it and I love the packaging. The packaging is just so damn cute. I mean, look at it, it's just, oh beautiful yes i would buy that again so the next item i've got is a zoom fast black lash mascara from mac it has dried up it was only a tester i tend to find we're getting a lot of these testers at the minute and i love them please don't stop ever giving away free testers i dropped it in the bin it's gone <laughs> i loved it to the point that if my next mascara runs out i don't know if i'm gonna go with the roller lash or if i'm gonna go get one of those 
that's how much I loved it. The roller lash, I like the brush. It separates my lashes, it's amazing. That actually made them longer. So I don't know, I might just have to go buy it, I might just have to go buy it. The next thing that was going in my empties, regrets and reviews is this. This is my Benefit Gibby Brow. It looks like this, it was only a test, I had a couple of these. The brush, oh my God, it just, it's gone dry. It's dry, I'm not brushing it because that my eyebrow feels weird. I love it so much, I swear I'm gonna go buy one. That's how much I love it, but I've got two of these. So I'm waiting for the other ones for now, and I'm buying one, because that's how much I liked it. Because I like to do my brows, and I like to set my hairs in place, and oh, I love it. The last two things that are going in my empties, regrets, and reviews is two things from my advent calendar that I had at Christmas. One of them is a brush. I tried so hard to fall in love with these brushes. They are so soft, and they're so nice, and I just really wanted to love them. But when they fall to bits on me, I can't. I just can't. The colour is fantastic. The, sh the colour of the brushes are brilliant. I wish they were bigger. I prefer proper brushes. I don't feel like... I don't know what to use that for. I mean, do I use this? I could apply my concealer with it, I guess. But I apply my concealer with a one because it comes with it. I don't have many of the pot concealers. But this, other than that... I don't know what to use that brush for because it's like too small to do anything with but it's too big to be an eyeshadow but I mean look at the size of it and it fell to bits so for that reason I would not buy if Revolution ever bring out makeup brushes I would straight away be put off I would never buy one that's just my opinion and the next thing going into my interest gets and reviews <laughs> is the Revaholic palette I was so excited when I got this and I checked the colours out the pigment is amazing and they are just fantastic so I decided to create some looks with it but the matte ones don't really show up on your face like that one you can barely see it I'm not gonna try and show you on camera because there's no point and then look I've just tried to put another one they don't show very well I don't like dark shimmery colors I feel like if you're gonna do your outer corner it needs to be matte it's just my opinion I don't really use golden or bronzy colours on my eyes and it was just a waste of a palette. But I would not buy this. But this is going to with someone else. I'm not putting this in the bin. I can't. Yeah. Somebody will love that. I just don't. And I don't see the point in it sitting on my counter looking at me every day if I'm never going to touch it. So for that reason alone, it's not going in the bin. I took it on my bed. It's going to somebody else. And I'm sure they're going to love it a lot more than I did. But that was my empties, regrets and reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, click over in the top corner if you haven't already. Click over in this top corner to check out one of my latest videos and click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video and bye bye.